Today we're going to check out how to make some bevel text here in Illustrator inspired from Brad Bury design. And I'm going to go with the letter S because this one is tricky. Step one, let's select the type tool, type in the letter S, scale it up. I'm going to go with the inter font, inter extra bold. A right click, create outlines, and I'm going to swap it from field to stroke. Click on the stroke so it's going to be on the top. And let's select it, right click on group. And I'm going to select it again and click on release. Now let's go and select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select this line, press and hold shift, also select the straight line, press on delete. And we got the letter S separated. Let's select the blend, click on this one and also on the right one like that. So in some cases, in some letters, the blend option won't work correctly. But I did have a clue why is this happening. If I zoom in, I press and hold the space, check out how many anchor points we have here. So I'm going to go to the pen tool, long click and select delete anchor point. So I'm going to remove some of these anchor points. I'm going to press and hold shift. And for example, I'm going to remove this one and the blend is changing. And look at that. So I had to remove these two anchor points from here. If I remove more anchor points, it is going to mess it up. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to select it, go to object, expand, click OK. Now in your situation, you might not have this problem, but overall the blend tool is a little bit more tricky. Right click on group and I'm going to select the pen tool and connect these together. There you go. I also going to draw a V right here with the pen tool, starting from here and going somewhere here. There you go. And I'm going to select the middle line, double click on select the pen tool, zoom in and let's find the intersection point. As you can see, it's written there intersect, click on. So now it added here an anchor point. So now I'm going to select the direct selection tool and delete this anchor point right here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Now we're going to add two circles somewhere here in the middle. I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to go here where they intersect right here. Press and hold shift, create a circle. I'm going to make it connect with this intersection point right here. Press and hold shift and upscale it here until they're intersecting with the paths. Press and hold alt, drag it upwards, make sure they intersect. Press and hold shift, do it again here. Make sure that the paths intersect. Select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select this anchor point. Press and hold shift. Also select the right one at the bottom. Press on delete and repeat the same process at the bottom. I also going to select the this stroke line. Let's go to the object path offset path and I'm going to go with four and meter. Actually, I'm going to go with five. Click OK. Let's make a new copy. I'm going to go and delete the outline from here. Select all press shift plus M. Or you can go and select the shape builder tool from here and just click on these shapes individually. And this way it is going to create these new separated shapes. There you go. Now I'm going to select them all and I'm going to swap it from stroke to fill. And now I can recolor them one by one. There you go. And I'm going to bring the strokes on the fill. Right click, arrange, bring to front and just bring it to the right. Also press and hold shift and position it on the top. Now I'm going to select the outline. I'm going to swap it from stroke to fill, right click, arrange, send to back and check that out. And this is how I make this really cool bevel here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.